Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am excited because I am doing a Sephora, what is it called? Spring Savings Event Recommendations. And I also will tell you what I bought already because the Sephora, I believe it's called the Spring Savings Event. I should have looked this up before starting really. But it already started yesterday for VIB Rouge. Yeah, it's called the Spring Savings Event. And it started yesterday for VIB Rouge and VIB Rouge gets 20% off. And then as of April 5th, uh, VIBs get 15% off. And then as of April 7th, uh, Beauty Insiders get 10% off. And the sale is on until the 11th. And all tiers get 30% off Sephora collection, which is really good. So yeah, I'll tell you what um, what I recommend first of all, then what I bought already. Because <laughs> I already put my orders through because I was very panicked to be honest because everything I wanted went out of stock. So I honestly just kind of impulse buy it a little because I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get anything so that's that i'll leave all the information below so you know what i'm talking about and the sephora vib program whatever beauty insider it's free to join so if you haven't joined already i think i have a link below i don't know what it does but <laughs> if you need the link it's there but i'm sure if you're watching this video you know what Sephora is and how all of that works. So let's just go, let's just jump in to my recommendations. So a few of them I don't actually have with me because I either use them up already or I just haven't needed to repurchase them because I'm trying to go through other products in my collection as you might have seen from other videos. But I do have skincare and hair care and fragrance um, in addition to makeup, so let's start with that stuff because I feel like, I don't know, if you're just here for the makeup, you can skip ahead. Um, but the first thing I wanted to recommend, mostly because of the price and it'd be really good to get a discount on, is the Peter Thomas Ross. Let me just get the actual name of those because I clearly didn't write this down and I don't have them anymore to show you the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm hydrogel eye patches. I'll have pictures here of anything that I don't have with me. So the reason I recommend these is because I actually feel like they work. I feel like they actually lift and firm the eye area plus they feel really nice while they're on and they're not like very slippery and um, like wet feeling eye patches that you have to like keep pushing up like you can put them on do something else and then take them off I think it's like 15 10 to 15 minutes 10 minutes that you leave them on I really loved these I finished a whole um, container of them so yeah, but they are, they're very pricey. So I'm only recommending this in case you want to like splurge on something like a pamper product for yourself. Oh, and then for face cream, I'm always going to recommend the Belief True Cream Moisture Balm, especially if you have dry skin. If you have oily skin, there's the Aqua Balm. I don't know if that one is just as good because I have dry skin so I only use the moisture bomb. But that is like still to this day, I don't think I've found anything else that I like better than that. I just haven't repurchased it because I have <laughs> so much skincare. If you haven't seen my skincare hoarder series, go and watch that. <laughs> But yeah, that's my, that's hands down my favorite face cream. It's just really, like it's really simple. There's no fragrance or like frilly packaging. It's just a really good cream and it actually feels like it plumps my skin. So yeah, I do miss that, but I just want to get through other things first. And I do believe it's $50 for the regular size. So another thing that's 
good to get a discount on. Yeah, it's $50 and they actually have a like a jumbo size for like well it's double the amount of product for 81. So I actually should probably buy that <laughs> one in the future when I have less skincare because yeah, I do find, I don't know if I go through it fast, but I just love it so much that I always want to put it on when I have it. I think that was all I had for skincare. Like just the next product could also be considered skincare, but it's labeled as a primer and I've recommended this before in other VIB sale recommendations videos, the First Aid Beauty Coconut Smoothie. It's called like a smoothie priming moisturizer. So I feel like it it is a primer, like it works good as a primer for dry skin especially and has a nice glow to it, but it, it does have like a feeling of skincare at the same time. So if you want to get like a two-in-one product, that's a good one also. I also don't have that on me because I finished a full size of that and I finished like mini sizes of it before. It's one of, if not my favorite primers, so I always recommend that one. I'll talk about hair care at the end if anyone cares, although I do have some really good recommendations, so stick around. But since I already started talking about primers, I feel like I have to mention we have to go into the makeup now because I do have another primer to recommend, the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. This is actually very similar to the First Aid Beauty one. I just feel like the First Aid Beauty one feels more like a skincare product as well, whereas this is like illuminating primer. But it also is, it does feel like it, it's kind of hydrating at the same time, so that's why I really like this one. Yeah, this is just a mini size, but you can buy this size at Sephora. And I also love the packaging. It's an airless pump, which I love. Um, yeah, it's just really good. So let me give you a little swatch. See how it's like a gel kind of texture and it's very illuminating but it just feels nice on the skin like it's not illuminating because sometimes illuminating primers I feel they're just illuminating like there's no like moisturizing base part and that doesn't really look good on my skin because it just looks like it sits on top but this really blends in really nicely and just gives a really nice glow. Yeah, see how like after you blend it in, it's not super intense, but it's just really pretty and it feels nice. Yeah, there's like no scent to it as far as I can tell. So that's another primer that I recommend. For foundation, I have the same one to recommend that I recommended in my last VIB video. It's the LYS. Um, triple Fix Serum Foundation. This has HA, turmeric, and ashwagandha in it. I just can't remember, like I haven't used this in a while, but I don't remember feeling how I felt about this one with any other product I tried after this. So that just tells me this is probably my favorite foundation. I do also have like tinted moisturizers and stuff, but I feel like this kind of gives the effect of a tinted moisturizer in that it's like very dewy and it feels really nice on the skin and it does have like skincare in it. Um, but it just has a bit more coverage and yeah, I really just love this one. I love the packaging. I think LYS, like you can't really go wrong with almost all of their products. The only one I've heard people don't like as much is their highlighter, but Everything else is like, in everybody's recommendations video, they're mentioning LYS, so I had to mention the foundation. It's just really good. And this brand is like on the lower end price-wise, especially for a clean brand at Sephora. It's, I don't know if it's affordable, but <laughs> it's less expensive than a lot of other brands at Sephora, but it's just like the quality is just as good as something else. So 
yeah, recommend this one. I have the shade LN6. That's another thing I like about LYS is they have like those names that have the N means neutral and you know, so it's just easier to find your shade, I feel. So yeah, there's the foundation that I recommend. And for a concealer, which you can also use as a foundation if you want, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I think this is my favorite concealer that I've tried. I have other concealers in my collection that I haven't used yet, so I don't know if they're better than this. But I just really like this one and this is one of the few concealers that I like on my under eye. I don't feel like it creases and like looks too heavy under there. Even though it's like a thicker formula, it just blends out really nicely. So that's what I like this one for. I have the shade Pearl, and I think it was a good shade match if I remember correctly. Yeah, I just really like this one. So, Too Faced Born This Way. It's nothing new, but this is the one I would recommend. Now on to blush. I have so many blushes that I like, but I haven't used them enough to feel it to feel comfortable recommending them to you with the exception of these ones. So the first are the Tower 28 uh, Beach Please Cream, what do they call these? Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balms. I love these. This one I haven't used yet. This is the shade Power Hour, but I know like I love this kind of shade. But this one I've used a ton because it was in my project pen last year I think. This one is the shade Magic Hour. These are just really pretty. These just blend really seamlessly and you can shear them out or build them up depending like on what your tastes are and I just feel like they're really pretty and I actually wear this one like without having any other makeup on my face. It just gives you like a really nice natural glow. So that's the shade Magic Hour. I think there is a set um, on Sephora right now which has this blush and a lip gloss and I really love the lip glosses also. So that would be a good one to pick up during the sale. I just don't need obviously another one <laughs> of the same. Um, but I don't have the, the lip gloss shade that comes with it. So I probably would have picked it up, honestly, if it was a different shade. But yeah, I already have these two. And then my other ones are, of course, the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duos. These are just so good. I don't feel like there's anything else at Sephora like this because it's a cream and a powder but you actually put the powder on first and the cream on top because that's how Patrick Ta made this formula so it's not just like something he said to be you know to make it seem different that's just how the formula is made it actually like the cream is supposed is supposed to set down the powder and it just looks really nice on the skin this one I have two shades of the singles. I have She's So LA and I feel like it's a bit deep for me if I put too much but I love the undertone of this and I also love the cream side is like under its own little lid so you don't get them all messy. Um, but I also have the shade Do We Know Her. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like a really nice shade for spring. It's like a coral, peachy coral shade, I guess. Really like this one. I also got the Major Headlines Blush Palette for... When did I buy this? I don't know. Some sale, maybe. Or I had a gift card. I don't remember. But you can't get the blush palette anymore because it was limited edition, but he did release all three of these shades as singles so in the same packaging as this and this is just beautiful so 
if any of these shades are more appealing to you, you can get them separately now. So this is She's a Doll. It's a very pink blush. Then She's Vibrant is like a... What would you say that is? It's still a very like a bright pink, but this one is more like baby doll pink, I guess. And then this shade, more like berry one, is She's Baked. So yeah, all of those you can get separately as well. And I'm really excited to use this. I haven't used it yet. I took it out of its packaging just to show you <laughs> in this video. But yeah, really love those. And I feel like they are a bit pricey, so it's good to get a, a, a discount. But also it's like a two-in-one because you can, you don't have to use the, you don't have to use the cream and the powder always at the same time, although I do recommend that, but you can use just the cream side if you're just doing like an all cream product face that day, or just the powder side, it's however. And yeah, I think, I don't think you can go wrong with these. I don't know anybody that doesn't like them, basically, so. There's that. Then for bronzer, I have two. Well, first, basically any Fenty bronzer. I like the cream also, but I think I like the powder bronzers a bit more. I just feel like, I don't know, they're more smooth. Maybe it's just the shades that I have, but yeah, I really just like the look of this on my skin. This is just a mini of the shade Shady Biz. It's like a more light neutral tone, I guess. I really like this. It just, like I said, it's very smooth on the face. Blends out really nicely, as you'll see in a bit. There is a, a bronzer palette from Fenty that just released that I may have purchased with like a bunch of different shades of these bronzers and none of them are the shade Shady Biz, so yeah, but this one I really like on my skin tone. Maybe for the summer, it's not like deep enough, but for winter, colder months, I loved having this. But then I also have a liquid bronzer to recommend. I've used this in a video, like the um, Sephora Favorite Set. I don't remember what it's called. I, I'll link it below, but this is from Iconic London. It's the Sheer Bronze, and it is just that. It's a sheer liquid bronzer, but I really like that because, first of all, a liquid bronzer is not always something that sounds <laughs> like it's going to be easy to use, but this is so simple. Like, you'll see in that video, you just apply like it is liquid so just be careful when you use it and it's just so easy to blend out see how like liquidy it is so but as i blend it see how like sheer it becomes i put that was a lot so you can tap it out with your fingers but i think i use a sponge and it was really nice and like seamless so yeah, this one, I love this bronzer. This one is the shade Caramel Glow, if you're wondering, and I really love it. I tried to think of highlighter recommendations because I wanted to have a recommendation for every category, but honestly, the highlighters that I really like from Sephora are discontinued. <laughs> or, I don't know, repackaged or something, or reformulated, so I can't recommend them because I haven't tried the new version. And then all the other highlighters I really like are from the drugstore, actually. So I'm just gonna skip the highlighter category and move on to eyeshadow. And <laughs> for eyeshadow, honestly, any Natasha Denona palette, well, Okay, let's rein it in. Well, let's not say any because I have seen like a few negative reviews of some of them, but all the ones I have, I love the Natasha Denona bronze palette. That would be really nice for summer looks. The Sunrise palette I love also. 
I don't know if that one's still available though. But I figure if I'm going to say Natasha Denona, I'll just give one recommendation. If you're like, if you're new to Natasha Denona also, I would recommend just getting a mini palette because they're much more affordable. They're generally really good. And the one I would suggest is the mini retro. This is just so pretty. I love these tones. I love this for spring also. And yeah, I've used every shade in this palette and none of them is like a dud. So you have this really pretty, like sparkly, flaky shade. And then you have some more like, what do you call these? Like dusty, <laughs> like murky greens, I don't know. And then a nice matte like transition shade and then a nice like shimmer for the lid. And yeah, I love this. Every time I use it, I'm just really happy with how it looks. And I think the last time I used it, I only used this matte shade and this shade and it looked like amazing. It looked like I spent like a lot longer on my eye look basically, but I only had two shades on. And yeah, I just really like this one. For lips, I wanted to keep it simple also because I have so many lip products I could just go on and on. But I have like a really old school <laughs> recommendation, the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Creams. These are just, I just love them. I'm wearing one today. Unfortunately, the two shades that I have in the full size, um, so this is the one I'm wearing right now. This is Pumpkin Chai Latte. And I also have the shade Seychelles Breeze. Unfortunately, these were both limited edition, but I mean, these shades are not anything revolutionary. I'm sure they have similar ones in their other shade range, but I just love these so much. They feel nice and minty on the lips. I actually used to hate Buxom <laughs> because when I was younger, I hated that feeling on my lips, but now I really like it. Maybe because like I'm older and my lips are more wrinkly. <laughs> and they just make your lips look more plump and they are not too slippery. So I feel like once you put these on, they'll stay looking glossy throughout the day. And the reason I specifically recommend the lip creams is because there's more pigment to these the the their lip gloss like the sparkly ones i believe they're all called lip polishes but i really like the cream ones because i just feel like they give like a nice color to the lips and they're very smooth even though they're like thicker they don't feel like heavy on the lips if that makes sense i just really like them and I also have two mini sizes. So I have White Russian. This is like a cult favorite. Although it, it is like a really pale pink and I don't remember if I like it on me, but I also have this one. And I also have Dolly, which is another really popular, like a more mauve tone. Like this one, really like that shade. So yeah, these are just really good. And I think that's all I have to say about them. And my last makeup product I don't have with me because I used it up and I have way too many other things to get through. But for setting spray, well, this recommendation is really for Canadians only, <laughs> sorry, because we can get MAC at Sephora and MAC Fix Plus is my favorite setting spray ever. So that's the one I would recommend. I think they raise the price on it because last time I looked, I think it's like $38, which I feel is very pricey for a setting spray. Let me just make sure that's true. Yeah, it's $38, but it's just so good. I really like it, especially for dry skin. If you feel like after you put your makeup on, that your face like absorbed all the moisturizing parts of your makeup and just left like a powder 
finish if you spray this on it will just like remelt all your products together and looks like you're glowing from within kind of like it's more like your skincare but it's really just a setting spray so that's the one i recommend i couldn't think of anything else because all my other setting sprays are not from sephora and yeah that's just the best one that i could think of so mac fix plus definitely a recommendation so that was it for makeup but for hair care and fragrance, I have some other things. So the first thing I also don't have with me because I used it up. <laughs> Actually, I have it in my empties. Let me get it. The Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I love this. I miss this already. <laughs> I just finished it a few days ago. But the scent on this is really nice. It has like a nice coconutty smell, but not fake smell and it actually does what it says like i f it's very conditioning but i also feel like it made my hair look more healthy and since like using this i i definitely realized i have the hair type that needs a leave-in conditioner because it can get so dry and frizzy so honestly i would repurchase this during the sale but i have other leave-in conditioners i need to get through like everything else so yeah but this one is just so good and i actually have another recommendation from briogeo the scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo this is like a lifesaver so you guys know if you watch my videos and i've said it already like five times in this one <laughs> that i have dry skin and i also have a really dry scalp as an extension of that and it can get so itchy and like irritated because it's so dry so i have to use this like every other time i shampoo my hair basically because it really helps to make my scalp well first of all get rid of all the dead skin and it feels like soothed after so this is let me just show you that's what it looks like so you do have to like get your fingers in there and you kind of just put it i just put it like right here and massage it in and every time i shampoo my hair i do two shampoos like no matter what product so I do that, I make sure like I'm getting it on my scalp, rinse, and then I do another, like I take a little bit more, not too much, and I also have a, like a scalp massager. I was going to recommend it in this video, but I don't know if it's still available. Yeah, I use that just to make sure like I'm getting it actually on my scalp, but my hair never looks as clean with like any other shampoo than it does using this but at the same time it's not it doesn't like strip it of its oil and make it like look really dull it's probably the coconut oil honestly that's helping with that i just really love this and i've recommended this to people i know in real life um that have like problematic scalp and like those you know head and shoulders and all that is like not what they need because there's a difference between having a dry scalp and having dandruff so that's a whole other issue but i think um this one is just good for anybody that honestly just wants really clean hair and a soothed scalp <laughs> so yeah i would definitely recommend this one and i think this is like 50 dollars like 50 something so definitely a good one to get on sale but i think you will not be sorry because i've actually had this for an embarrassing long time i guess i'm like a third i only have a third of this left but i've had this forever and yeah <laughs> it's still going strong so yeah both of my hair recommendations are from briogeo I just love this brand and their products smell really nice too so that's another good thing and then for fragrance I have two 
I actually only have the like roller balls because I don't buy full size fragrances. I don't need them. I never wear fragrance. Well, I mean I do because I'm recommending these, but I, I don't wear fragrance every day. So it doesn't make sense to me to have a whole bunch of full size products that are just probably going to expire by the time I get to them. But I have the Vanilla Woods. This is a per perfume. I just want to say the right word. Um, yeah, it doesn't say, but it's by The Seven Virtues. And this is amazing. It's with organic fair trade vanilla essential oil from Madagascar. Best for alleviating stress, calming, and soothing the overworked. I am obsessed with this. I love this brand. If you guys didn't know, I have an Etsy shop. I make my own perfumes with essential oil, so I'm very familiar <laughs> with what I like. I just really like this one and it, it smells so good and it lasts a long time. Oh my god, I closed it so tight. So this size is like a rollerball. I know some people don't like fragrance in rollerballs, so just wanted to point that out, but this is the like the travel size one. Yeah, but it's called Vanilla Woods. So it is like a, how do I say this? Cause you smell the vanilla for sure, but it's more woodsy. <laughs> I don't know how to describe fragrance clearly. Let me just tell you the notes instead of trying to describe something that I can't describe. Okay, yeah, the keynotes are actually pear, rose, and vanilla. Very interesting, because I smell something more earthy, if that makes sense. Oh, okay, yeah, so it says, and gourmand caramel infused with warm amber. So that's the, like, warmth I'm smelling. But yeah, I just love this. And also, if you're interested, there is the same perfume, but in a different bottle that has a gemstone as the roller, which is really cool. It's actually on my loves list, but I don't need it because I already have this one. So yeah, that's the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. And then my other recommendation, which I'm now realizing is kind of similar, <laughs> It's from Kayali. I don't know if this particular thing is available. Let's see. Yeah, this is always out of stock, but in case it comes back or if you really just want one side or the other, they sell them separately. But this is like a two-sided rollerball. So this is the Kayali Vanilla 28 and Musk 12 double-sided travel rollerball. I love this, mostly because, well, I feel like the best part about this is mixing them together. So I do kind of specifically recommend this product, having them both, because the vanilla side is, that's the vanilla side. And then the other side, Musk 12, I mean, they're both very what they say they are, so I honestly feel like mixing them together is how you get that really nice, like, again, similar to the Vanilla Woods, it's like a warm vanilla. Because I don't, I love vanilla scent, but in a perfume, I don't like a very sweet vanilla. It has to be like a warm vanilla, so that's why I love this one. It's out of stock on Sephora Canada, but I don't know if it's available on the US side, but like I said, you can get both of these on their own if you really wanted to, but I love mixing them together. So I just roll like one side or the other and then the other one on top and mix it together. Love this. and it. If I remember correctly, it does last a long time also. I was also going to recommend the the replica by the fireplace. I know it's a really popular scent on YouTube. I have a full size of it because my mom bought it for herself and she didn't like it. So she gave it to me, but then I started wearing it and she smelled it on me and was like, oh my God, what is that? I'm like, it's a perfume you, you gave to me. She's like, I love it. And then she bought it again for herself. So. 
yeah it's like a joke now like i bought her another one another roller size like last year for mother's day i think so yeah that one is also really good but i just felt like these are all <laughs> very similar fragrances and that one i don't feel is a fragrance i'll be wearing in the spring so that's the only reason i didn't mention that one too um, because it's very expensive and if you're not going to wear it until like fall, just wait for the next VIB sale. But that one is really nice too. A really, another warm <laughs> scent. But yeah, that should give you an idea of the kind of fragrances that I like when I do get fragrance, which is kind of rare. Because like I said, I just make my own. But yeah, really love those ones. And then the last thing... I didn't know where to fit this because it's a deodorant. It's the Sol de Janeiro or de Janeiro <laughs> Rio Dio Aluminum Free Deodorant. Okay, if you guys didn't know, I've mentioned it in like empties videos before, but I am on a quest to find a good aluminum free or like natural whatever deodorant. And I have found some pretty terrible ones. <laughs> some that make me smell worse than I've ever smelled before. But this one, I love this. So, I mean, I will say it's quite fragrant. Like, you smell it on you. Like a perfume almost. But I love it. And I love this more than the actual cream. Like the Boom Boom cream. I, I think it's the same... Yeah, it's the same fragrance, the Che Rosa 62, but for some reason, I like it more in this format. So this product is kind of like a two-in-one, a fragrance and a deodorant, but the deodorant itself actually works. Like, I don't smell, and I feel like it's hydrating my underarms, if that's <laughs> possible. There is um, mango seed butter and coconut oil in this, so yeah. I just love it so much. So I'd recommend this if you're looking for a aluminum free deodorant and to get on a sale is good too because it is like 20 something dollars. But yeah, I think you can't go wrong with this one. So that is all my recommendations. Okay, my battery died, but that was the end of my recommendations. But I wanted to tell you guys what I bought already because I didn't have time to to do like a wish list or anything before the sale actually started because I am a VIB Rouge so it started for me yesterday as I said so I already put two orders in because <laughs> the first order was things that I had prepared myself for like these are the things I want I'm gonna put them in my basket and check out as soon as I can before <laughs> they sell out and then the second order was like, okay, I got the stuff I really wanted. Now let's just get some fun things. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel like this, I've been more excited for this sale than I have before. I guess it's like, cause it's spring, it's like renewal and I want new things. And I don't know, that's my excuse. But I feel like I'm not the only one. Like, I feel like I've seen more VIB sale related videos lately than ever. So, I don't know. It's just fun, I guess. But let me tell you. Also, I think because we're nearing the end of the, you know what, the pandemic. <laughs> and I think people are wearing makeup again. And just, yeah, they're just over staying at home all the time and doing nothing, I guess. I don't So, let me tell you what I bought. Where's my orders? Orders. And they already shipped, so it says they're only gonna get here on the 5th, which, yeah, I wish it was sooner, but it is Saturday, so they wouldn't come tomorrow anyway. So the first order, I did. So I'll have all the pictures here because obviously I don't have the products with me. But I am planning on doing a collective like Sephora haul after I get these because like I showed you before, 
I hadn't even taken this out of the package and I got this like in December last year. So I have a lot of things to show you. But the first thing I got, which I, I don't know why I got this. <laughs> the Rose Ink Skin Enhance Luminous Skin Tint. I've just seen so many people raving about this and it really just it got me i did not need another skin tint but i am basically finished my bb cream so that will be gone and that's my excuse even though i still have other new things <laughs> to replace that with but yeah i got this shade 40 i hope it's good yeah i really wanted to go in store to look at these products but i was like i said too scared that everything <laughs> would sell out so I got the shade 40 it's described as light to medium skin tone slash neutral and I remember now I did use the shade finder on the Sephora app and I put in like all the things I could think of like the other Sephora complexion products that I have and it always told me based on those shades it brought me back to this one so I hope it didn't do me dirty, <laughs> but yeah, I am a bit concerned it's light to medium, but it's also a skin tint, so I'm expecting it that I'll be able to make it work because it's not going to be like a full coverage shade that doesn't match me, if you know what I mean. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad, the shade. Like this is the model they put it on. I feel like we kind of had the same skin tone. We'll see how that goes. But I do plan on using this in a video because I have other products from Rose Ink to try. I'm actually wearing the blush on today, although I mixed like a bunch of things on top of it. So I don't know what color is doing what anymore, but I really liked it. So yeah. Okay, then I got. I just can not help myself. I got the Natasha Denona Pastel Eyeshadow Palette. But you guys know, I mean, I just recommended almost anything from Natasha Denona. But this one just looks really pretty. Very excited about these tones for spring. And everyone's video that I saw using this palette, all their looks turned out amazing. Like, even the people that were like, oh, I don't know, I don't really like pastels. They came out with, like, a beautiful look that seemed, like, super simple for them to do. So, I'm very excited about this. And I love that it's the midi size palette. So, it's the... It's still expensive, let's be honest. But it's the, the middle size. So, it's not, like, the mini. It, it's not the five pan. It's, like before the $170 ones, let's just say that. So very excited to use that. I'll probably um, use it in a video too, like a first impressions, although everyone's already done that because they received it in PR. <laughs> but I don't know, I feel like I just wanna do it anyway for myself. Then I got the Sephora Collection Pro Foundation Brush number 47. So this I got because of Julia Adams MUA here on YouTube. She uses, it's not even this brush that she uses, it's um, a brush from Quo. It's a Canadian drugstore brand if you didn't know. But it's actually the same price as this one and she said this is a dupe for the Quo one. So I actually got this cheaper than the drugstore one. And she uses this, well, not this brush, the dupe one, the Quo brush, she uses for cream blush. And every time I see her using it, I'm like, oh, that, that just made it look so easy to blend out because it's like a, it kind of has like a slant. Yeah, so it's kind of like curved on one side so that it, you know, you can just stipple the product on your skin so that's why I got that one and I also I like all the other Sephora brushes that I've tried I think they're really good quality so I threw that one in my bag okay this one 
was totally an impulse buy. The Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. So I got a skin tint and a tinted moisturizer, but I couldn't pass this up and I just felt like this is something that was gonna sell out. I got the shade 10N, so again, neutral. I just go for anything neutral because in my experience, I must be a true neutral tone because when I use shades that are cool, I look pink and when I use warm, I look like orange. So <laughs> anything that says neutral, like I'll just get that one. So I'm hoping this is a good shade again. I think it's one of the lighter ones, but again, it's a tinted moisturizer, so I'm not worried about it being like a full coverage mask that wouldn't match me. I'm sure like I'll be able to make it work even if, if it's a bit too light. But yeah, and definitely in Rare Beauty shades, I am an N because I had the Rare Beauty foundation and I decluttered it because it looked terrible on me. But I had the shade 150C in that, I believe. And it looked like pink. Like white pink. I don't even know how to describe it. It was just not good. So I got this. Then I got the Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint Cream Blush Stick in the shade Perky Peach. These I've seen so many good reviews on. I did not need another cream blush, but everyone that tried this, it just looks so good and I couldn't pass it up. And I love to get Huda Beauty products on a discount because they are more expensive. Then another Sephora collection product, I got the Metal Facial Razor. <laughs> so I've never owned a facial razor before and I've never shaved my face before. But I got this because, well, first of all, because Makeup by Cheryl recommended it. She said it's way better than the plastic ones because it's metal. So just like the weight of it makes it easier to use on the skin. But I got this because um, I have like hairs here, which you can't really see because they're like white. <laughs> but whenever I pluck them, I get a breakout, like it's inevitable. If I pluck one hair, there there will be a blemish where I pluck that hair out. I don't know what's with this like area of my skin, but it's super sensitive and I want it to be more smooth because then it looks less textured when I have makeup on. So I got this specifically <laughs> to shave this part of my face and I hope it's gonna be good. <laughs> I'm a little scared. I also might use it like down here because I feel like sometimes like my peach fuzz gets in the way and it just makes my makeup look kind of cakey. I don't know. We'll see how I like it. It's $20 <clears throat> but like I said Sephora collection is 30% off so I thought now would be the best time to try it and yeah we'll see how that goes. And then another non-makeup product, I've been wanting this forever. It was in my cart, the last VIB sale, but I just didn't bite the bullet. But it's the Kitsch King Satin Pillowcase in leopard print. <laughs> so this is a satin pillowcase and I'm getting this because the pillowcases I have now are like very cotton, I don't know what they're made of. But I am someone that sleeps on my side and I hug the pillow like into my face and <laughs> I'm worried that's not good for me. That's probably what's causing me to like have all this texture on my chin first of all. But also that can be good for because I do skincare at night obviously and isn't it just like getting absorbed into my pillow? I don't know. So this is supposed to be like specifically good for that. Like it's supposed to, let me just read what it says. Why did I get the king size though? I hope it's not too big. <laughs> Cause I just saw now there's a regular size. So oh God, this could be bad. I might have to buy a whole new pillow to fit this in. But 
Um, so what does this say? It says a soft vegan satin polyester pillowcase that is gentle on your skin and hair. Oh, also for your hair, apparently this is a lot better. And I do find like, I actually wear my hair up when I sleep because if not, it's all tangled in the morning. So this might help with that. We'll see. Uh, it says allowing you to sleep in luxury while protecting hair from frizz and breakage. So I'm very excited about this, actually. I'm hoping I like the feeling of it. I'm pretty sure I will because I also hate being hot when I sleep and I feel like that will be like cooling, right, on the face. I'll have to get back to you guys on this one, see how I feel about it. I probably should have got the regular size one, but I didn't see that until now. So there's that. And I think that was all for that order. Yeah, that was my first order. And then this is the one where I was just like, I need that and I don't need it. And I'm hoping I better love these because they were not cheap. So I had to get the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 Rose Eyeshadow Palette because I have the first one. I've only used it once, but I don't know. I just love Patrick Ta and I just got this for some reason. I hope I love it, but it just looks really pretty. Again, it's n nothing crazy. It's a neutral, and when I say neutral, I don't necessarily mean the tones are neutral. I mean like this will give you an everyday look, but the first one is very like warm browns and this one is more like mauve tones. <laughs> So yeah, I still need to get more use of the first one. It's in my shop, my stash and like play around with the creams and the powders and everything. But I think that's what gets me with his, his palettes. The fact that there's those cream shades as well. So you can really change like the textures and try different things and like experiment. And that's what I like to do with makeup. I like to just experiment with things. So I'm excited to get that and I'll probably do a video on it because I usually don't have new products to film videos on. And the other thing I really want to use in a video is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Sun Stalker Face and Eye Bronzer and Highlighter Palette. This one totally did not need impulse purchase, but like I said, I do recommend the Fenty powder bronzers and this has one two three five shades of this formula so the sun stalker bronzer and then two it says they're highlighters and they're new shades but what really like sold me on this is the fact that it said like in the marketing you could use this for your eyes your face like you can use them as eyeshadows as highlighters as contour and like obviously not all of these shades would work for my skin tone as a bronzer but the idea is you use them for other things. So I really want to play with this and see what kind of looks I can come up with. I think it's going to be really fun for summer. So yeah, I got that also. So that is everything that I bought. There were so many things I wanted that were out of stock like the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. I wanted to get that to use with the tinted moisturizer. I also wanted to finally get the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush, but I think because of TikTok, that's like always out of stock. I think it went viral because someone said Kylie wore it, but actually she didn't, <laughs> so I don't know. I just really want that. Also, the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Highlighter Wand in Pink Gasm. I think this is another thing that is always out of stock because of TikTok. But yeah, I really wanted to get that, especially at a discount because it's $52. Yeah. And what else? Just so many things are out of stock. So I hope they come back while the sale is going on for everyone's sake because those are really popular products obviously 
and I think that's it yeah so like I said I'll probably do a like a huge haul video with everything not just the things that I mentioned but like other things from last year oh my god that's how bad I am I have in my new makeup drawer there are things I bought during the last VIB sale that I haven't used yet yeah so <laughs> stay tuned for that if you want if that's something that interests you but other than that I hope you liked this video if you did give it a like I always feel like I forgot to say something I don't know but yeah give it a like if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye